Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Ladies, and we're back with another Let's Play franchise mode. And we have a little baby snow leopard. I'm so happy. This one has been born in the speed build video we did in the zoo where we create the bongo habitat or rebuild the bongo habitat so if you haven't seen it yet please do go and check it out but oh boy she is so adorable and she's called sandy thank you so much for your name suggestion and i really hope sandy that you will like to be with a little baby snow leopard she's a female and she's super pretty so i'm really happy we managed to get a snow leopard in i'm, I'm really excited for this because they are so beautiful and i can't believe we missed this cute little cub during our beta series it was so hard to get a cup of the snow leopards but finally we did it look how pretty she is you're really pretty Oh my goodness, you're lovely. <laughs> She's absolutely adorable. Uh, so we have some things. Yeah, I was about to say the common warthogs are um, growing up and it all goes so fast. So we have to make sure that some of these warthogs now how many of these warthogs can we get in one habitat? I'm really curious. So, up to six males, up to six females, one, two, four, one, two. Well, you know what we're gonna do? Because we have one male and two females, so I think we wanna go for... How old are you getting? So how many babies can we get from you? Okay, so we can get babies until death, and life expectation is 18 years. Which is quite long, so yeah, I think we're going to put up these little baby worth hogs. Well, not babies anymore. We're gonna put you guys up for adoption. So I'm gonna... Is that Wanda? No, Wanda, Zoot, and Gaming Gecko. Okay, Gaming Gecko is one of the babies. So I'm gonna put you up in the training center. And Kande... Okay, you guys, you three are the three adults we got and we're gonna keep for now so mike taylor is almost growing up and then we have no not you <laughs> vera you already grew up too but you're still a little little cutie pie but vera you're going up to the training center too and then we have to wait for mike and i do believe that we have more of them or am i going nuts here now I'm not really sure so we still have to redo this habitat but like as you can see over here the bungo habitat really changed if you haven't seen it yet and we also have mong uh, mo <laughs> about to mature so we have to keep an eye on dad but i think this is all going really well okay so let's find mo uh are you mo yes you are hello derpy face Hello, dear. <laughs> You're excited to grow up, aren't you? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't help it, guys. That smile on its face. It's so hilarious. And oh, I really hope we will get a lot more baby bongos in here because, oh boy, they are so funny. <laughs> I'm so happy that we got these guys. Oh! Oh, ooh, okay, now you're not a derpy fish. You have a serious face now. You're very beautiful, though. I really have to say that. Uh, but yeah, Mo, it's time for you to go to the training center. And um, let's have a look. Facilities without power. Well, that is something that our mechanics will definitely fix for us. So we have Vera, you're already in a training center. And Gaming Gecko is also in a training center. Lucy has matured. Now, I'm not really sure if that was in the previous episode or not, but since we don't want any inbreeding, we gave you contraceptive, so you can stay here because if I remember correctly, it's all good to have the female still in here, but yeah, if it's a male, yeah, I'm sorry, dude, but you're gonna go. You gotta go because we don't want any fighting. 
So we have Georgina here and oh, we have Gilders Levy right over here too with the contraceptive. Just look how beautiful this looks. Isn't that just really beautiful, guys? I'm really happy with the rebuild we did. We do have quite some money right now, so that is going really well. So what I want to do today is I want to build a... Oh my goodness, who is swimming here? Barney. Aww. <laughs> So yeah, what I want to do today, since we want to have the most of these snowy animals on this side, obviously we're going to build a habitat for the timber wolves. I'm really excited for that. So we're just going to expand it, I think, a little bit over here. You're, oh no, Mike, you're also leaving. I'm so sorry. I'm going to put you guys all up for adoption and hopefully you guys will get a very nice new home but it's really sad that all you guys are leaving but the good news is that we get a lot of new babies in hopefully and we can give those new babies some new names of you guys oh my goodness you're so cute <laughs> okay so mike you will go up for adoption once we get there so I am just going to build another habitat. What I also did, I did hire another, how you call it, a caretaker, I think? Yeah, another caretaker because there was like a lot of trash right over here. And we also raised the ticket prizes to eight and seven for children. And uh, we might want to raise it. No, I, I'm not really sure if this is like before or after I raised it. So we're going to keep it for now, but probably when we have another habitat then the prices can go up a little bit more so we can earn some more money and in the next episode we're gonna do a speed build again and then we're gonna do some more decorating and make this all nice and beautiful again so we're gonna build a more simple habitat right now just to get this going and oh it's gonna be so excited to see how this is all going to change once we're gonna do a lot of decorating in these areas Mike Taylor, I'm so sorry, dude. Uh, we have to wait till you've grown up, and then I'm going to put you up in the training center so we can trade with you for some conservation credits. Uh, okay, uh, without further ado, let's just start building that Timberwolf habitat.
So this is actually the base of our habitat for the timber wolves. It is pretty humongous. Yes, yes, yes. It's 6,500 square meters. And the reason for that is because I really want to have like a lot of timber wolves in here. Since a few updates ago, you are now able to get like 2 to 12 timber wolves in here. And there should be a little bit of fighting, but if I am correct, then we should be able to keep as many babies as we want. So that will be really nice to get like a big herd of timber wolves in here. So that's why I have it like pretty big. And we have a staff room and a keeper's hut right over here. I did already. What is floating there? Oh, the bamboo feeder. That is maybe not how we want it to be. So let's put you right over here. Okay, so we have a staff room and a keeper's hut right over here. We have electricity and a water pump just to keep this water section clean. Obviously, we're gonna get back to this habitat just like we do with all the habitats in a later stage when we have some more money and we're going to decorate it. And we have a cave viewing area right over here. Obviously, we didn't do anything just now, but I think it's gonna be very nice to have a timber wolf cave, just like we have in Malin Zoo, because I just really like that. And yeah, the timber wolves are able to walk in here, so we can check the traversable area just to be sure. So we're gonna click the timber wolf, and as you can see, they are not able to escape. That is really great. They are able to walk over these little bridges, if I am correct. I think so. Are you able to walk here? Because it looks pretty clear to me. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. There is some kind of weird bump. It's because I rotated it. Why are you moonwalking, my timber wolf? I think you are now able to walk over it. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So I just need to change that little hump and make it a little bit smoother but i think else they will be able to just jump so it's not like a super big deal or anything but it's already fixed now so that's perfect so we have the feeding trays right over here Ooh, more hog is about to mate that's amazing and yeah well it's gonna be fine let's have a look <gasps> oh that's so adorable uh, I should have gone a little bit earlier, but we are expecting more babies! Hooray, hooray! Talking about that, we need to name these amazing, beautiful timber wolves. Are you playing with the bugs? Oh my goodness! Oh, we were too late again! Are you kidding me? Okay, so we're going to name you, and you will be Morrigan. There you go. Hopefully you like it to be the very first Timberwolf lady in our zoo. And we're also going to name the male Timberwolf. I don't know where you are. It's so big in here. Oh my goodness. You must be super duper happy with this size. Are you guys able to walk underneath this? We're gonna put down some rocks or anything. Oh, there you are underneath it so obviously we're gonna we're not gonna keep it like this because that will be really weird a floating platform without anything that holds it um so we have another timber wolf and we're going to name you let's have a look we're gonna name you rem so hopefully rem you like to be a male timber wolf in our zoo, thank you guys so much. And if you want your name to be added in our zoo, please go to the link in the description to the community wall. There's a post named, I think, franchise naming post or something like that. So it's pretty easy to recognize, I guess. And yeah, if we don't make it, well, there are so many names already, but if we don't make it, don't worry. We're also going to name a few, well, no, I'm going to name all the animals in Malin Zoo right before I upload it to the workshop. So hopefully you guys will like that too if you're not able to be in this zoo and obviously we're gonna have a lot more series going on so it's gonna be a lot of fun oh, i'm so happy we have timber wolves i remember during the beta when we had the first franchise mode series we were just not able to get any timber wolf babies either so yeah we have the snow leopards and the timber wolves now and hopefully we have 
a bit more luck. Wow, it's dark. Press L. You get a light torch. But I am really happy that before the update, I changed the opening times of our zoo. So for some reason, you can't change the times anymore. But, but, but because I changed it, I have... Let me show you. I have 7 to 6 and I'm not able to change this anymore. But I really hope that will be changed in a later stage because I just really like to decide myself when my opening times will be. Money is going pretty well. They uh, changed the refunds back again because it wasn't really clear what to do in order to make sure that people won't get a refund. So I'm really happy that is not costing us any money now and when they add it again to the game they will have notifications and those kind of- <gasps> Don't you fight! No! Animals will fight. Who is that? Who is fighting here? That's not good. We have Zoot here. Mike Taylor. Mike! Oh, I'm so sorry Mike, but you have to go. We don't want you to fight with your dad. You can't just do that. I'm so sorry, lovely. So yeah, if they add that later that people will get refunds, then you will know why that is. So, thank god we now don't have any issues because, oh my goodness. Are you gonna use your cave? That would be really awesome. You are. I don't think many people will come here, but I think when we expand the zoo, people will definitely use this area too if they want to see the timber wolves. So I'm not really worried about that, but in the beginning they're probably just not really being used that much. Unless... Ah, okay. There are people already coming this way because they're both now in this cave. So that makes total sense. So what we have to do is make sure that at least... They will give us some money. Do we have electricity here? We have, so we can also add a sign. I had to remove some of the signs because... Wait, I'm gonna put you on this... Uh, I don't think people can read it if it's that far away. But I had to remove some signs because I don't have electricity. So I'm gonna put you on here right now. It's all temporarily guys, so don't worry about that But I just want people to be educated if we can So there you go. We have a sign. Are the people really coming in? Oh They're watching on the bridge too, but there's one person actually going down uh, This is not really what I prefer. I really want people to use these platforms right over here so we have this round one over here, and I like it that the people can really look into it from all sides. Well, basically they can do the same over here, of course. But yeah, I think once we get back to decorating this area, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I am really going to enjoy that. And it looks really nice with the lighting. It's now 8, well, almost 9 a.m. That's really nice. So yeah, we're gonna leave it for now. I really hope you guys enjoyed this very first episode uh, with the Timberwolves. It's not the very first episode, but I feel like it's the very first episode because we haven't been playing for a while because of you know, bugs and stuff. So yeah, I'm really happy to be back again. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to subscribe, of course, if you already haven't. And I really hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.